Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to learn, how to download file from provided URL, in PHP by using curl. It will download image file from, given link, and save into our local folder, this things we have already discussed by using, PHP file get content method. But here, we will do this things by using PHP curl, because it is good for you, for download file from URL using PHP curl library. PHP curl library, will make HTTP request on server, it is more secured than file get contents method. Now let's start discussing this topic, this is our working folder, in which we have one download folder, in this folder we will store downloaded file from URL, and index.php file. First we have open, index.php file, and in this we have make form, so here we have write form method is equal to post. Under this form, we have write, input type is equal to text, under this field user can enter valid URL. For submit form data, here we have write, input type is equal to submit, name and value is equal to download, by click on this button, we can submit form data to server. Now we have moved to write PHP script, here first we have defined two variable like dollar $image, and error is equal to blank value. Below this, we have write, input type is equal to, if statement, and under condition, we have write, is set function, with dollar $post download variable, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write, if statement, and under condition, we have write empty function, with dollar $post URL variable, if dollar $post URL variable has blank value, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write, dollar error variable is equal to, message like enter URL. After this we want to check, enter URL is in proper URL format, so here we have write else if block, and under this we have write not operator. With filter var function with two argument, in first argument, we have write dollar post URL variable, and in second argument, we have write filter validate URL. This is execute this else if block of code, if provided URL is not valid URL, and under this we have write, dollar error variable is equal to, invalid URL. Now we want to display, validation error, so here we have write echo statement, with dollar error variable, it will display, validation error on web page. After this, here we have write, else block of code, this block of code will execute, if enter URL is valid URL. Under this block, we have write, dollar URL variable is equal to, dollar post URL variable, here we have store dollar post URL variable value, under dollar URL variable. Now we have write dollar start variable is equal to, CURL init method, this method will initialize CURL session. Below this, we have write, 
CURL set option method, with three argument like, dollar start variable, CURL option URL and dollar URL variable. Here we have set CURL option, for fetch URL, by defining CURL option URL, with dollar URL variable. After this, we have write CURL set option method, with three argument like dollar start variable, CURL option return transfer, and in third argument we have write one. Here we have set CURL option for fetch URL and return as string in return value. Same way, we have again write CURL set option method with three argument like dollar start variable CURL option SSL version option and third option we have write three. Now we have write dollar file data variable is equal to CURL execute method with dollar start variable this method will execute the given CURL session. It will fetch data from URL and store in dollar file data variable in string format. After this, we have write CURL close method with dollar start variable. It will close CURL session. Below this, we have write dollar file path variable is equal to download folder name slash unique id method with dot jpg extension here it will generate new file name with complete path now we have write dollar file variable is equal to file open function with two argument like dollar file path variable and w plus this function will open file and this w plus option is for reading and writing file if file does not exist then it will create file below this we have write file puts function with two argument like dollar file variable and dollar file data variable this function will write data in file in this case this function will write dollar file data variable string value in dollar file variable lastly we have write file close function with dollar file variable this function will close open file, so, this way it will make file in download folder, and file will be download from URL. Now, we want to display, downloaded image on web page, so here we have write, dollar image variable is equal to, image tag with source is equal to, dollar file path variable. For display image, here we have write, echo statement with dollar image variable, it will display downloaded image on web page. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see, when page has been load on web page, here we can see one text box and download button, on web page. Now, we have directly click on download button, after click on button, we can see validation message like enter URL. So, we have again enter some string, and click on download button, after click on download button, we can see validation message like invalid URL. So, here our validation working properly, now we have enter proper URL of image, which we can see on web page. 
Now we have click on download button. After click on download button, we can see image has been downloaded, which we can see here. Now we have open image in new tab. So, here we can see image path has been come from downloaded folder. So this way we can download file from URL by using PHP C URL library. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.